Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to send pictures as snaps on Snapchat. So if you have some pictures that you want to send as snaps on Snapchat, but you don't know how to do it, this can also be called fake snapping where you send a fake snap. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. So it doesn't show any filters or anything like that. They cannot tell that you've sent it from your photo gallery and not just taking it like a normal snap. But first things first, if you head over to the Snapchat account or the Snapchat app, uh, normally the method that's used is to use a filter. But if you use a filter, it will show that you used a filter when you send the snap. So let's say I'm snapping your mom. Uh, if I like send her a photo, then that photo will just show up as a normal photo normally. So let's say I allow uh, and I send this photo of the Eiffel Tower right here. If I send this photo, then it will just send it as a photo and not as a snap. And even if I did try to send it as a snap through a filter, it would say I used a filter and it would look fake. Now to make it look real, what you want to do, you want to head out of the Snapchat uh, app and search for App Store or the Google Play Store. Either of them works. Now once you are on that the store, search for o OVF Editor. Once you search for OVF Editor, you're going to want to head over to it and download it. As you can see, I already have it downloaded. But this is what it looks like as a yellow outline and it says OVF editor. So once you download it, you can just open it up on your iPhone or your Android, whatever, and it'll bring you to this page here. Now here you want to click on photo slash video and this app does have ads, but they're really short. They only take like five seconds. But once you've uh, watched the ad and then you closed it, you're going to want to choose the photo that you want to send as a snap. So say I want to send this Eiffel Tower photo as a snap. You can edit it however you want, as you can see here. And once you are done editing it, you can click on the check mark in the top right corner of the screen. Now, once you do that, it will bring you to this new page right here, where it'll ask you to uh, change the size of it or the or crop it. Now, what you want to do, you want to click the Snapchat option. Uh, it's one of the options of the sizes that you can choose for the cropping. And then once you do that, you can resize the image so that it fits the actual crop of the snapchat crop so as you can see here i'm just trying to fit this eiffel tower perfectly so it doesn't look weird but once you finish you just click finish in the bottom right corner of the screen it'll bring you straight over to snapchat now as you can see this is a photo of the eiffel tower and it doesn't show any uh, settings or filters that were used on it and once you do that you can just send it to whoever you want to send to so i'll send it to your mom and i'll send it to my story as well then I'll show you what it looks like from the other person's point of view. So let me switch over to your mom's account real quick. As you can see, this isn't the same photo. I sent a snap. It is a snap and not a uh, photo. But you want to head over. Let me head over to my other account real quick, your mom's account. So I'll log out and then log back in. And as you can see, once I log in, I'll have received the snaps right here. And if I click on the snap, as you can see, there is no nothing that shows that it's a fake snap. There's no filter or anything like that. It's 100% uh, non-detectable. So, and also if I head over to the story as well, this is completely no filters or anything like that. So you can do it for a fake snap or your story as well. But that is how you send a fake snap or that is how you send a picture as a snap on Snapchat. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them, and I'll see you guys next time.